In this video, we're going to be playing Dragon Ball in Minecraft again. Dragon Block C is a mod which turns Minecraft into Dragon Ball. Last time, we created our character, fought some Sabermen, and defeated Raditz. And in this episode, we're going to try and fight Nappa and Vegeta. Let's see how we go. But before we get into the video, a word from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access is your one-stop spot for VPN security online. Private Internet Access has a strict no-log policy and tons of customizable features, so your data is protected with the most privacy-focused VPN ever created. One of my favorite features with private internet access is that it works across all major streaming services, so you can have unrestricted access to all of your favorite content anywhere in the world. On the United States Netflix, you can't access a lot of Dragon Ball content, but if you change your location to either UK, Germany, or France, you can access a ton of the classic Dragon Ball movies which are on Netflix in these countries. Speaking of servers in other countries, private internet access uses world-class next-gen server infrastructure in 75 countries. This means you get a secure, reliable VPN connection anytime, anywhere. Private internet access is available for all platforms, including Windows, Mac, Android, Linux, iOS, and many more. But not only that, you can use one private internet access subscription to protect up to 10 devices at the same time. Private internet access also blocks ads, trackers, and malicious websites. Now, as a special offer for my subscribers, by using the link privateinternetaccess.com slash maddbz found in the description, you can get complete digital privacy for less than $3 a month and get an extra two months for free. This means you're only paying $2.08 a month and you get 83% off. This offer is also completely risk-free with their 30-day money-back guarantee and their highly skilled customer support team of experts is available 24-7. So click my link in the description to learn more and sign up for private internet access today. Alright guys, so we are back here in Dragon Block C, the Dragon Ball mod for Minecraft and um, I've got a scouter, so that's pretty cool. So most recently what has happened is we took care of Raditz. Uh, this was the aftermath. Yeah, uh, uh, not ideal, but what can you do? I've got the scouter on for now, but uh, I, I can take it off for a while. Um, I'm thinking of just leaving most of my items here and then traveling away. This is around my spawn point anyway, so, you know, if I do die in this game, I'll spawn back next to my chest, so that... Uh, that should be, should be alright. So the goal of this episode is to try to... Hold on, let's look at our mission and see who we're up against next. So let's open our menu. Let's go to our saga system. Oh no. Oh no. So the strongest Saiyans are going to arrive, aka Nappa and Vegeta. Raditz told you that there are two more Saiyans on their way, more powerful than he was. So I've got a few requirements before I start this mission. Essentially, I need to be in the overworld, which I've done. I need to be in the biome Dirty Stony. I need to uh, gather cooked dinosaur meat and I need to kill some Sabermen. So we, we can't exactly just spawn Vegeta and Nappa and, and fight them straight away. We've actually got things to do first. But something else I want to do is get more TP so I can level up and I can uh, upgrade all my attributes. So essentially I can, um, you know, actually fight Vegeta and Nappa, not just shoot them with a bow. <laughs> so do I need anything from my chest? I'm going to take this flying Nimbus here and I'm also going to go back to Master Roshi to get some more weight because I figured out how to put it on. I can open my inventory with E in, you know, typical Minecraft fashion, or I can press Control E and open up my extra slots where I can access head, body, and weight. So I know how to put weight on now, which should help me get extra training points. That's how I put the scouter on, by the way. So that was pretty cool. And I also would like to try to uh, go to Kami's Lookout and see if I can unlock some skills, like specific skills, like maybe some flying or some uh, some key blasts. I don't know. We'll see. So that is what we are going to do before we face uh, Nappa and Vegeta. And we also need to get some more food because uh, we lost most of it to fighting Raditz. So let's collect that. Also some more arrows, of course, because, you know, doing uh, these types of key blasts, <laughs> if you want to call it that, uh, you know, they help as well. All right, what's up, Master Roshi? What do you got for me? I want some weight, and I want... Um, all right, so the max is 5,000, and one is around... Uh, all right, we'll, we'll start with... We'll start with 100. That should be a good starting weight. Let's let's check. So if we open our inventory and well, open our extra slots and put on our weight, we're slowed down quite significantly, but... I think it will help us. Um, let's actually see if we can get a bit lighter. So let's 
just try a five and, and see how that feels. So take that off, put the five on. Okay, so we're still pretty slow, but you know, for what it's worth, oh, you know, we'll get a, we'll get 5,000 again, why not? Let's see how slowed down we are with the 5,000 and we can barely move, so that's good. All right, let's see what key techniques we can get. Uh, so we can't really get any at the minute, but key blast and Kamehameha for, you know, varying amounts, but we're almost at the key blast if we get enough training points. And then in terms of skills, we can get dash, which is awesome. I actually forgot that I unlocked fly last episode, so you can have that. Uh, <laughs> Should we get dash or should we wait? I think we'll wait. So on the last uh, episode, I got a few comments from you guys that were actually quite helpful. One of which explained that uh, up the top here, the BP is your battle power, which essentially is uh, how strong you are as opposed to different enemies. So if your battle power goes all the way down, you're not gonna be that strong. But if you can get your battle power up, you're gonna be stronger. So if I actually jump into my menu and you can see I've got 39 TP right there, uh, 237 battle power. If I go ahead and upgrade my strength a little bit, okay, so we can upgrade one point uh, and my battle power will go up as well. So the stronger I am, the more battle power I have, but I can also focus Focus on upgrading other attributes, for example, uh, dexterity, and it says what they increase. So this increases defense and speed, constitution increases body and action time, willpower increases maximum key power. I'm getting attacked by a zombie. Uh, <laughs> mind increases TP gain amount and skill limits, a spirit increases key pull, and um, I'm gonna die to a zombie. <laughs> Talking about upgrading my battle power, how about you upgrade it by taking out these zombies? So I actually got a comment suggesting a way to uh, get some extra TP, and that is uh, through fighting the shadow dummies. But the way to do it is to actually conceal yourself in a, almost an enclosed area so the shadow dummy can't teleport away, can't run away, shadow dummy can't even hit you, and uh, you can just sit there getting TP. And that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. So we're gonna try set something up. So to start, I just wanna sort of see the behavior of the uh, shadow dummies once again. So if I go ahead and spawn one here, I can start and spawn. So they pretty much stay quite idle, but they also teleport every so often. So I don't know why I'm fighting it with the pickaxe, but it's doing the trick. So uh, nice, I got one there. And how much TP did I get? Uh, a little bit, but if I make a bit of an enclosed area, the training dummy can't go anywhere, nor can it hit me. Um, we should be able to get a lot more. Okay, so we've made a little bit of a trap here. Uh, so let's try this and see how it goes. So we can open our menu, we can spawn a shadow dummy, and he used my trap against me. <laughs> All right, so he spawns wherever I am. That's that's what I can see. Uh, let's, let's try that again. So I'm standing here on this cobblestone block, Spawn a training dummy, boom, drops straight above me. All right, so here's my next test. I've uh, upgraded my trap. As you can see, I've got a fence here. So what I'm going to try to do is not that. So we're gonna start on this fence here and we're gonna spawn a, uh, a training dummy and see if they can fall into the trap. So let's open our menu. Let's uh, start and yes, he's in the trap. He's in the trap. Now let's see what happened. Okay, he was able to get me. The trap's not, the trap's not tall enough. He's teleported out, nice one. So if we have a little setup like this going underneath, uh, we should be able to hit him and he might not be able to hit us. So he'll fall down here, he'll come to try attack me. Uh, he might be able to, but we'll see what happens anyway. So let's jump on our little fence and spawn a shadow dummy, just like so. And okay, perfect. So now we can hit him and he, if he doesn't teleport through the Okay, well, we've got to change that. I like that I'm supposed to be playing through the Dragon Ball story and I'm just trying to trap a shadow dummy. <laughs> so if we open our uh, menu and we head to our uh, saga system, we can see what we need to do. We've already completed this, which is be in dimension overworld. Uh, so essentially just be in the overworld, but we need to be in biome dirty stony. We need to get some dinosaur meat and we need to kill some saber men. So I think uh, these two should be done first. So what we're gonna do is just travel in this direction for a little bit and hopefully we can find something interesting. Hopefully we can find some Sabermen. Hopefully we can find some dinosaurs. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, there's a there's a fire happening here. Interesting, what is this? Yo, what is happening here? Okay, oh, it's because there's a, it's because there's a lot of lava, that's why, but Barbity ship has been found, what? I don't think I should fight Barbity at the moment, but it's interesting to know he's around. What's down here? Is it this? 
I think this is just a Minecraft structure. It still looks pretty cool because it's just like going straight down. Very interesting. Oh, all right, we got some villains here. Uh, double chest, nice. Cool little cave, but uh, I'm gonna head back to the surface so I can check out that biome. And here we are. I'm pretty sure we're in the uh, dirty, stony biome. Let's have a look, saga system. I am, I'm in dirty, stony, and there's some dinosaurs. So this is cool, this is cool. Right, so how much dinosaur meat do I need? I need uh, 10. Okay, gather and cook dinosaur meat. But I don't know how hard these guys are to kill. So let's uh, do a bit of that. And nice, hopefully that will help with the cooking process. Oh, all right, they do a decent amount of damage, but we've got the reach advantage here. Go away, zombie. Yo, I should probably, oh, nice, all right. Um, awesome, dinosaur meat. That's what I want. Do I get much TP from the dinosaur? I'm pretty sure I just did, which is good. So we've got a few more dinosaurs to go. Uh, there's a structure over there, which I'm gonna go check out. I think that's Barbadie's ship. We'll, we'll go have a look anyway. Here we go. I'm pretty sure this is Barbadie's ship, which is pretty cool. Um, should we go in? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm in the safe zone of Master Barbadie. Nice. So here he is. Let's uh, talk to him. I hardly sense any evil from you. It's not like you don't have any inside you, but I'm not interested in you now, but I can subject myself. So I can turn myself into a margin. That might be interesting to do eventually, but for now, I'm gonna just uh, leave. <laughs> How do I do that though? I think I can just fly out. So let's just uh, power up and fly. There we go. See you later. I just need one more dinosaur and then I'm all set. There's one over there. Awesome. So we'll go, we'll go get that dinosaur meat. Let's drop down here and fight him. Yo, well, hold on, don't lose any more HP. Don't lose any more HP. There we go, perfect. Okay, now we have 10 dinosaur meat, so let's cook it up and continue with the mission. All right, all of our dinosaur meat is cooked, awesome. So we have this now, and we can also, if we uh, open up our menu, open up our saga system, we've completed it. So the only thing we need to do is kill Sabermen, zero out of 12, so if we click start, we're gonna be fighting the uh, Sabermen. So let's make sure we're prepared for that. All right, I'm thinking up here would be a pretty good place to fight the Sabermen. Let me just take care of this dinosaur though, uh, just so he doesn't get in the way. But um, I'd be happy with here. All right, so let's fly up so we can spawn these Sabermen below us here. Uh, let's go in our menu, Saga system and start. And oh man, there they are. So let's see what we have to fight them with. Um, obviously we've got our bow and arrow, which, you know, I don't know if this will help, but let's, uh, let's just do it for as long as we can. Okay, I think we're gonna have to strategically build down low enough so that we can uh, attack them and they can't attack us. And they're figuring out how to climb. This is not ideal. That's all right, they're just Sabermen. We've beaten Raditz, we can, we can take out these guys. We should smoke these guys realistically. They're smoking me, let's jump up here. All right, let's eat our dinosaur meat, get back up here for now. How many did we get? Open up our menu, open up our site. Seven out of 12, so that's not too bad for our first shot. All right, I'm going for I'm going for this guy because he's right at the back. Let's go. Nice, okay, surely surely that's enough Sabermen. Okay, we've completed the Sabermen mission, but since we've eaten all our dinosaur meat, we need to get more dinosaur meat. <laughs> okay, I guess we're getting dinosaur meat again. Let's go for it. What? No, I did not. I accidentally died to a dinosaur. Oh no. Quick King Yammer, send us back. All right, let's revive and see if we can get back to the um, the dirty stony biome. I was able to beat the Sabermen. I was able to beat Raditz. I was able to beat the Sabermen again. This time, 12 of them. And I, uh, I, I died to a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is this it here? There's a lot of XP here. Yes! Yes, this is it! Alright, so now we have 10 cooked dinosaur meat. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our menu, open our saga system, and... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I think what I might do is I might get on my Nimbus and just fly, uh, fly up and, um... You know, we'll go, we'll go from here. We'll go from here. So let's open the menu again. Saga system uh, to protect for myself for the sake of evil. We'll go protect and let's have a look. They have arrived and want to eradicate Earth. Don't let them. So I need to be in Dimension Overworld, which I am. And I need to be in Biome Dirty Stony, which I am. And I need to take out Nappa and I need to take out Vegeta. Now, personally, I don't think that with my statistics, I will be able to beat uh, Nappa and Vegeta. But at the same time, I didn't think I'd be able to beat Raditz last episode. So you know what? We're gonna do it.
Uh, okay. No, we're not. Alright, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Dragon Block C. Me versus Nappa and Vegeta didn't go very well this episode, but next episode we're gonna try to, um, try to hopefully win. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how we go, but other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. Also, feel free to leave a comment. Help me out on how to play this game, how to get better statistics, and more importantly, how to fight Nappa and Vegeta. And if you're new to the channel, you can also subscribe.